What is up, guys? It's time for more Medal of Honor. This time, we're taking on Mission 5, which I think is called Sabotage the Rijukin Hydro Plant, if I remember correctly. This mission is another uh, favorite of mine. It's probably my second favorite mission in the game. It's also a four-parter, so... Expect a... Long, longer video. I've got good news and bad news for you, Lieutenant. The good news is that your security clearance has been elevated. The bad news is that we're sending you to Norway in the middle of winter. This all has to do with Germany's attempt to build something called an atomic bomb. I'm no scientist, but if I understand the specs correctly, this weapon could instantly turn the tide of war in Germany's favor. From almost the first day they occupied Norway, the Germans took control of the Norsk hydro plant near the town of Ryuken in the Telemark region. Apparently this facility is capable of producing a substance that OSRD has designated heavy water, which is a key in making one of these bombs work. There have been some daring raids throughout the war on this plant, but apparently it has never been completely knocked down of commission. Last week, the Norwegian resistance reported that it was back up and running at full capacity. Your transport leaves at 0700 tomorrow. Arctic gear is waiting for you on board. Good luck, and try to stay warm. Okay. So we are going to... I actually don't remember. Whatever. But we are trying to stop the production of atomic bombs from Germany. The Roaring Penstocks. I'm glad to see you're finally out of the hospital. My father never fully recovered from the gassing the Germans gave him in 1917. I imagine your throat would be sore for yet a few more months. Well, from one terror weapon to another, mustard gas to atomic bombs, what will the Germans think of next? Now on to Rizuken. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Before you can make it into the research part of the facility located inside the main building of the Norsk hydro plant, you'll have to fight your way through the outer penstocks. This area is still dedicated to generating good old-fashioned non-atomic hydroelectricity. Your objective is to turn it all off. First gain access to the penstocks by shutting down the flow of water in the huge central pipe. You'll then be able to to transverse it from the inside. Then start placing demo charges on all of the power relay stations, six in all. Finally shut down the main power grid, which should throw their whole operation into disarray. Hint, my comrades in the Norwegian resistance suggest using the maintenance vents to get around. Okay, and okay, so as, you, as you'll see once we start this mission, if it loads, take a minute, there we go, uh, we will, we start this weapon with a, or this mission with a new gun, not the shotgun, we've already seen that a bunch. We have the bar, Browning Automatic Rifle. As far as I remember, I'm pretty sure this is the strongest AR in the game. Assault Rifle. Okay, nice. Let's see what's back over here. Kind of pathetic of them to give me a pistol whenever I have a shotgun and a bar. Let us continue. I didn't kill him? Shotgun! Why are you betraying me? Nothing in there. Rip. Oh, there's just explosive boxes, that's all. 
Can I just jump into the ceiling? Huh. Weak collision. Hopeful little boxes. I'm not sure why the bar takes SMG rounds. This is very clearly an AR. Pistol is so bad. There's a vent right there we can take, but it's more ammo. It was worth it. More shotgun shells, more fun. Yes, they can indeed come in the vents after you, but they're very slow, so it's not really that big of a threat. Okay, let's blow up these. Four more power relays. Need to find. to also shut down the main power grid. Do not remember where to do that. Okay. That's just extra health. In there. Otherwise, not too important. some lag. I don't know where that came from. I don't see any, uh, enemies, so... Weird that I lagged there. I could have just shot the box. Wait, his grenade didn't blow up, it just disappeared. What? I don't think I've ever seen that. Their reaction time is so slow when they're in vents. Five shots. Pathetic. What? Where did you come from? Is grenade gonna disappear too? Or did? Okay, I think that's only one right there. Yeah, there's only one over there. Three more, and we have to shut down the power grid. What is going on? What is this stairwell? The stairwell that operates like a ladder. Guy did a whole backflip. Good job, dude. You're such an acrobatic. just up ahead. I think I remember where the last of my objectives are from. Oh, hey, look at that. Huh. That's how you're actually meant to get this stuff, apparently. I'm pretty sure you can actually just grab them through the fence because of the way, the wonky way the collisions work. This game. Did I 
again. Oh. Bit of a waste, but it doesn't matter. Oh yes. This is my boomstick! I did, I, well aware that I did pass this up. This is another power relay over here. And that's the last one. And that means we have all our objectives complete except for enter the hydro plant. So basically just find the end of the wall. Which is right up ahead. Something I actually find kind of weird about this mission. I have no nades right now. Oh, headshot. Good for me. Okay. Out we go. Wait, here now. That's the first part, Roaring Penstocks, of Mission 5. We got an excellent rating, so with that, let's move on to the next level. Generators of Destruction Did you like the Browning automatic rifle you were issued? If we had that kind of firepower during the Blitzkrieg, this war may have gone in a different direction. You've got a lot to do now that you're inside the main Vizhukin facility. First, find the control room and power down all three of the plant's generators. While this effectively stops the production of D2O, deuterium <laughs> oxide, aka heavy water, you're only just getting started. Next, shut down the flow to both sets of heating tanks. The D2O that's already been processed will begin to freeze, bursting pipes throughout the hydro plant. That should knock them out of commission for quite a while. After that, locate the administrative offices and destroy all of their hydro file or pfft, all of their research files with demolition charges. I asked if they wanted you to steal the Germans' research instead of blowing it up. OSRD said don't bother. Apparently, the Allies already have this atomic thing covered. We do, however, want to know how much of this stuff they've made, so secure the plant's D2O output report. Yes, around this time, they were developing... The Americans were developing atomic bombs. Specifically, Fat Man and Little Boy. But you already knew that. Me. I got so much ammo. You're gonna see me using the bar a lot. I got so much ammo for it. Oh my gosh. My gun is gone! Because it's lagging so bad. There we go. Okay. 
okay. Which way do I want to go first? I'll go this way. Show yourself. Ah, here we go. Yes, they, they have the switches for all three generators right next to each other. So all you have to do is hit the switch on all three of them. I'm gonna go back and check the other way. I'm beginning to think the other way was like a bonus area. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Never mind. I can't go back. That is. Very strange. For some reason, I... I just didn't know about that door shutting behind me. I tried. I, could open it. I just could not. That box is indestructible, dude. Okay. Oh, another scientist. Dead. Probably a couple guards that'll come through there. Yep. Oh, that's a nade. Blow himself up. Groveling, trying to make me not kill him. Come on. No, oh, he's too smart. Took a few pot shots and backed it, backed up into the room. Can't deal with AI that's smart, dude. There we go. Oh. He just threw a grenade and ran in the direction of the grenade. What? There we go, there's the output report. It's sitting on the table. It has the... It's about the biggest file folder you've ever seen. Oh my gosh, let me in the door. Jeez. Okay. I have a lot more shotgun ammo now, so I'm gonna start using it. One, two, one more file cabinet. There we go, there it is. That's the last one. Let me through, so I don't blow up. That might- I think that's the last of my objectives. Oh, shut down flow to heating tanks. I've already, uh, shut down the flow to one of the heating tanks. Just need to find the second one. That guy's gun flew about three miles, jeez. That's the, uh, the, uh, exit elevator. 
So I missed a uh, a valve. Go see the valve I missed. Here it is, I think. Yep. Okay, let's head back to the elevator. This game's music goes all in. I love it. Okay. That is the end of part two of this particular uh, mission. I do not remember much about the third part, but I remember a lot about the fourth part, so we will see about that. On to the next part. Okay, continuing on, we have Betrayal and the Telemark. Colonel Hargrove did his best to explain your mission to me, but I think I understand more about it than he does. An old <clears throat> male acquaintance of mine works for the OSRD and explained what the Germans are up to. Apparently, they're only now realizing the potential of what this weapon can do and are trying to desperately make up for lost time. Fortunately, that means they've been forced to put, what's the expression? All their eggs into one basket when it comes to heavy water production. This strike against the Rizuken plant should put an end to their atomic program once and for all, provided that you destroy all the remaining supplies of D2O left in the facility. There are four giant storage vats that contain the processed deuterium oxide. Reverse their flow control, then locate the plant's emergency release valve and flush all the D2O out into the storm channel. As you exfiltrate, try to secure a copy of the facility's delivery schedule so we can be sure none of the heavy water made it off of the site. Finally, for good measure, disable any transport, transport vehicles you find in the garage. Simple enough. Well, I say simple enough, but that's actually a lot of objectives they just gave me. Still, they're... The objectives in this game are still fairly straightforward, even though you might have a bunch of them. Give me that health up there. Yes, I remember the health was up there. Did he drop a- Oh my gosh, he dropped a grenade when he died! He had freaking martyrdom! <laughs> Why did he like? I didn't even see him like move to like pull out a grenade. Wow, okay. First death. I did not expect that. Okay, here we go. Second attempt. I already took a bunch of damage. Jeez. I swear, the time before this, that I played this, I did not die here. Hi, jeez. He's not dead. What? This guy's like Superman. Grab that medicinal canteen. I'm 
doing much better this time. I almost have full health. At this point, I had like half health. Die! Jeez. I feel like my shots shouldn't be missing, but they are. Oh my gosh. There's just a lot of guys over there. Oh, that nade! <laughs> Stop throwing nades! Yes, I wish I had nades to throw at him. That guy's a ninja. He just moved the closest cover just so quietly. Well, not perfect, but you know what I mean. It's the emergency release valve. That's one objective. Need to divert two more heavy water vats and acqu acquire the delivery uh, schedule. Oh, and, and disable the truck that's in the garage. Because this level ends in the garage. Woo! That nade actually scared me. Okay. I shot that guy through the through the box. Glad to see when the game is on your side. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. Got how many enemies more on this level? I'm gonna kill 32. I didn't expect to kill more than that. We just we're always in like teams. Is there anything up here? a field surgeon pack uh, if I need that later that's cool okay uh, I guess it's later now jeez What is that grenade doing? Okay. I... Okay, that goes somewhere. I'm pretty sure that goes down to the garage. The delivery schedule, I think, is there. Somebody's hiding behind here, right? No, he died. Yep, that's the delivery schedule. And the only thing left is to get to the garage and blow up the truck. behind you there. That's weird. Wonder what um They just throw so many enemies at you. Jeez. That's 
That's all objectives. Let's go out the door. Okay, so that was my first death. This playthrough on that level. I just, I don't know, I just took too much damage in the beginning. And this time I just did a lot better. Okay, only one more part for this mission. And that'll be it. Perfect. Heavy water. Uh-oh. As you no doubt read on the delivery schedule, the Germans have already prepared a large shipment of D2O for transport back to the fatherland. According to the report, the ferry should already be fully loaded. They're just awaiting the the arrival of the icebreaker Vaughn. I'm not even going to try. From Oslo. It's supposed to be there within the hour. Make your way down the snowy road to the Rizuken dock, destroying any delivery vehicles you encounter along the way. They may have an auxiliary generator powering up the dock's defensive perimeter. If they do, locate it, then blow it up. Once you find the ferry, use the last of your charges to demolish the cargo on board. That heavy water must never reach Germany. One last thing, the Norwegian resistance mentioned a new weapon that the Wehrmacht uh, infantry is using up here, something called a Panzerschreck. I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't sound good. Tread light me, mon ami. Yeah, uh, Panzerschreck is not good. I know all too well what a Panzer Shrek is, and a lot of enemies in Medal of Honor Underground <laughs> use it near the end of the game. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Welp, that was it! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that guy totally blindsided me. <laughs> that was the guy with the with the Panzer Shrek. It's a bazooka. <laughs> oh man. Okay, attempt to. Well, if I had to go out, I'm glad it was a humorous way. These guys are chilling with Frosty the Snowman. That guy's just Hercules for some reason. He can always take a shotgun shot directly. You know what? I'm gonna clear out the opposition ahead first. Because last time I didn't, I <laughs> died. has it. Oh, he blew up his teammates! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. My guy is just deaf. Trying to figure out what's going on. That guy threw a nade. Yeah, and he just ran straight into his own nade. If he had a bazooka, I was super dead there. Good thing he didn't. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting shot in the back by a Panzer Shrek now. Oh, there was nothing up here. Okay. That leads me to believe that, uh, the... What is it? The power... The power station is going to be, uh... On the left side, probably? I 
just came from there. Oh, come on. Scared. I don't know which ones have rocket launchers. They don't have to hit you directly um, to deal damage to you, by the way. They only have to uh, hit near you. And it'll do, like, I don't know, a quarter of your health. But if they hit you directly, you will die. <laughs> Those rocket launchers. But I swear there's bullet travel time in this game. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is where I uh mess with the power relay station. Come at me, bros. No? Okay. Wait. Oh, hey! One more. There we go. Usually three. Oh, one more. Power station has been disabled, and I can go through this gate over here, which was electrified before, I believe. Which was the reason I couldn't go through it. I blew the now I need to sabotage that fairy right there. By shooting it? Probably. Oh. Yeah. This is bombs the mission. <laughs> That's the exit right here. And that's it. We just completed mission five. Mm. The Rizhukin sabotage the Rizhukin hydro plant. The Nazis poured countless man hours and watch marks into the various secret weapons programs, especially in the area of jet propulsion. Here, the airframe of a Messerschmitt 163 undergoes a somewhat successful test. The 162 Comet was an amazing little fighter, though it was often more dangerous to the pilots who flew it than it was to enemy bombers. But despite its drawbacks, the jet age had begun. And I got a medal. Sick. Okay. That's going to be it for this time. I will, actually I don't know what I'm going to upload after this, but be on the lookout. Alright, that's it. Scar out.